Oh shit! You sad! What you gonna do now? What you gonna do? <laughs> so... uh, I'm in a cage. Oh okay, fair enough. Doesn't really affect you much. I'm done. Except until that happens. Let us see how you fare in my realm of terror. In your what now? Ah, we. Oh, I'm terrified. Apparently, you've never seen Gandalf the White with a battle axe. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right. Shadow of Diablo. Oh, oh, it's us. Oh, oh my gosh, we're kicking our asses. Man, we suck. Jeez, it's crazy. Wow, I'm really bad. See, this is why I don't use that tornado ability, Shadow Self. <laughs> <laughs> See, Shadow Self, I look at my skills. <laughs> I build my character correctly. Shadow I'm still me. using Cleave. I didn't even switch to like a decent single Fuck target it. ability. I, look at the fucks I give. I yeah. Mean, oh, Shadow Us. Oh my gosh. Fuck and Ray! <laughs> so, it just dies so fast. Man, we suck. Again, the rape train has no brakes. <laughs> it does not have brakes at all. No brakes are on the rape train <laughs> at this moment. Alright, I'm kicking your ass, Ben. Take it. Take it. I'm, now I'm kicking my own ass. But no <laughs> wonder. Myself is using a two headed weapon. Oh, yeah, no wonder. That's why my Shadow Self sucks. Oh. That was sad. Now he's bleeding ink. <laughs> no, this wretched light must be eradicated. Please tell me this gets harder. Why don't harder. you just take us on instead of like sending us elsewhere? <laughs> hey you, could you go over here for a minute? All that you have ever loved shall die. Oh, well before that point I thought just I was gonna die, but since everyone's Good thing I'm die, a loner. Yeah, it's true. Reddy doesn't love anything or anyone. <laughs> Jimmy Crack Corn and I don't care. Jimmy Crack Oh my corn god, you stunned Diablo. Care. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's like one of the few guys that are not immune you, to stun. You know the funny thing is that my even my water elemental guy is like, what? Is Diablo like scary or something? <laughs> I'm just standing in the oh. fire. I don't even care. <laughs> What's going on here, guys? One cage. Wow. Hey, hey guys. You're gonna kill right. me and I can't even help land the final blow. Uh... Uh... What? He's, okay. So, that happened. Yep. Oh yeah, okay. That, that was that was a thing. That did occur. I'm still doing damage <laughs> to blasting him with electricity. <laughs> Fuck you, Diablo. Fuck you, Diablo. And we just watched the loot fall. Oh, level 33. Look at all that gold. Holy shit. Alright then. I thought it was gonna be oh, I got the yellow items not. out of that. Yeah. I got. Oh shit, there's four for me. Wow. Uh. Yeah, I got four. Holy shit. Yeah, I got four too. Am I thinking? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what, me what too. Are you okay. I'm gonna take a look at these things. All the dingy noises now. Yeah. Identify everything. Oh, oh unique Templar relic. Interesting. Awesome. Ooh. That's what you wanted. Sure. Why the fuck not? I'm gonna use that a lot. Yeah, figures. Wow. Uh, jeez. Holy balls. Alright, well here's a helmet that's interesting for possibly Randy? Here's a Dex helm. No. I'll take a look at that helmet, Justin. Wow. Uh, Ben, you might want this sword. I want that helm. I want the null helm. Want. Yeah, nice good amount of Dex there. Wow. Oh, cool, I got a rare... It, it's not socketed, though. So the DPS is going to be a lot worse than right. what I have right now. Oh, yeah, I didn't even realize it wasn't socketed. If it had socketed, I, sure it had much, socketed, I think it would be good, but... I wasn't sure how much the attack speed and the 80 strength would add. Right. Let's space check out these gloves. Uh, and this chest armor. Wow, strength and vit. Nice. Can't argue with that. Yep, those gloves are better than what I have right now. Hmm. That and... Body armor. That, mm. It's a little more vit, but a little, a little bit more vit, a little less stir. But you little. could gem it up with a stir. All right. Well, I have a gem in my armor right now, so. Oh, okay. Oh, um, uh, here I'll drop the null helm. Brandy, is this helmet good for you at all? Yeah, I'll take a look at it. Ah, crap. Also, Randy, do you want the shoulders? Officer's arts. 
And can I have that null helm? It's on the ground. Yep, it's right below you. Oh, I no, see. No, I'm good, Squid. I have okay. uh, much better shoulders. Thanks, so. though. Um, so, here's some risks that are interesting. It's 80 vitality. Dibs. So, wow. Shut up, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's less strength for you, but... I don't know. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> Well, here, I'll drop them, and you can... Yeah, I guess I can take a Take a look. I got a rare two-handed monk weapon, which is shit. Cut. <laughs> Fan-freaking-tastic. God, makes me so sad. Um, yeah, that's probably all I got that's in it. I use any use to anyone. Uh, well, actually, this might be okay for Skudoku. I'm not sure it's a, uh offhand thing. Okay, well, yeah, the sh the shackles that you gave me are actually oh, better. better. Overall, they increase fucking pretty much everything. Nice. I mean, except for, I think it might drop my DPS by a little bit. Yeah, it would have. Dart, you can check out yeah, these Yeah, it drops my DPS wrists. by a couple, but fuck it. But fuck it, is that what I heard? Yeah, it is, actually. Alright, there you go. Um, er, the ones I have give me more vid, which is probably better off for my tanking-esque <laughs> idea. So, so ridiculous. Pole axe of the what? <laughs> it's a two-handed pole axe with sixty intelligence. Okay, Randy, try it out because that'd be awesome if that's better than what you got. These are some of my old wrists. I don't know if they're good for anyone. Nah. Please, Randy, please do the pole axe because nope. that'd be hilarious. Right. I can take a look at it if Ben wants to drop oh, it. Oh yeah, I'll drop it. <laughs> also, could people drop their gems too since we're all here right now? Oh yeah. Right here. Right now. Right here. I can't equip it. Oh, uh, that sucks. I'm not. You, I can't equip two-handed pole arms. But you can equip a uh, equip a giant fucking two-handed axe. What? Yep, that makes sense. Yep. Wait. What? Well, why is the scoundrel, the templar, and the enchantress here? They're just hanging. What the fuck? Oh shit! I, I didn't dialogue. realize I picked up this though. That's three points less DPS than my current one, and it has a socket. Huh. I found nice. another emerald. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna talk to everyone? Yep. You mean right here? Yeah. You know, I do what I do. So now he's gonna turn to a bard or something? I guess. Is uh, Kondra gonna start singing? Sing. You didn't do shit! What? Oh, well, you probably did that. We're like family, as if we've ever spent time with them. I talk to him every once in a while. Yeah, that's true. And hey, obviously, the idea, of course, is that... Here, you can have this. If I ever use you, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Look at that thing. Holy shit. <laughs> it's insane. It's a crazy awesome follower thing. It, yeah, here, take a look at this follower thing, just because. Jesus. Randy will the... that. Wow. Damn, dude. Damn. <laughs> Templar's my favorite follower probably anyway, so... Yeah. Thank you. Indeed. There's health fonts around on this battlefield in case anybody didn't notice because we're too busy kicking the shit out of Diablo. Yeah, I saw. Him. Oh, there were. You probably would have <laughs> yeah. needed them if you were playing by yourself. Then. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, I have no doubt in my mind that this game is infinitely harder on your own. Yeah. Well, we just victimized the final boss. <laughs> <laughs> we totally did. <laughs> like you don't get to play games with us. We just fucking kick, just, just, get, just get down. We just kick you. <laughs> Wait, don't just lay down. Don't even argue with us. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I don't even know if I ever took appreciable damage during that fight. No. I kept my yeah, mantra going pretty constantly, but it didn't matter. I was down to about half health when he got me into a cage and then knocked me around, but... Right. That's to be expected. Okay, well, I guess I will walk around this battlefield here and see if there's anything else going before I talk to these angels. I can't imagine there's much else going on. Probably not. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, we needed that. 
Yeah. There's another one over here, too. Oh, this is a really cool looking area. Uh, that, that, Randy must use that one or something. You fuck. Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, then I think All right, well, I'll real. talk to the uh, non exclamation oh, point angel first, just in case he has more. Ch oh, I can't talk to him. I can walk through him, though. Yeah. Uh, okay, are we ready for this? Yep. Yep. Let's do it. <laughs> Town portal. No, <laughs> so, is that other angel guy going to come back now so we can kick him in the balls? I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any, but. In fact, you might say that Diablo has died three times now. <laughs> to the victor oh. go the spoils. Okay. Alright. Well, that's normal. Yeah, pretty much. No end cutscene? Well, once we click OK, maybe. There might be, yeah. Uh, well, I guess we'll find out. I'm clicking OK. Game ends in 20. Well, that's kind of interesting. Check this spell out. Whoa. What the hell? Randy, cast Bubble Beam. <laughs> it's super effective. <laughs> you remember that uh, that sec the first lightning spell I got that was just like a spider effect of lightning on the ground? Yeah. Right. This uh, ruin I have turns it into a ball orb. Oh, cutscene. It better be. <laughs> It'll just like, the servers will crash. Yeah. In the end, it was a mortal well, heart. Well, several mortal hearts, but yeah. Two. Cast down the prime evil forever. Why don't we go to Cloud City? <laughs> Hi. Well, we, we didn't really like, we didn't even cast him down. We just kind of stomped on his face. Yeah, but once again, we didn't like trap him in a soul stone or anything. So no, we just threw him out of heaven. <laughs> so we get out of well, here. Material survived falling from heaven. So what's to say that Diablo will not? Oh, there's a factory stone. burned up. Yep. But, and you know, now it? the soul stone's going down there for yep. somebody else to pick up. Exactly. Diablo 4. Exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise a me. New day breaks for both angels Please tell me that angel man. has to fucking eat crow. For mankind's greatest champion. It's sad that I hate him more than Diablo. Rose to confront the darkness that we, in our pride, would not face. Yeah, you're all bitches. Plus, Tyrion can talk up humanity now because he is a human. Yeah. It's like, we're cool. <laughs> yeah, he could say we. I mean, he was obviously already talking up humanity before he was a human, but now, yeah. he can, now he can say we rather than they. My brethren, I will take my place among you. Once Wait, again. why? Obviously, we were Not better than time. the angels. As a mortal. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I will be the angel human. Since justice has been met this day, I will now stand as wisdom. Yeah, that's cool. On behalf of those who risked all to save us. In other words, us. No. Forever us, I. Yeah. We shall stand together, angels and men, in the light of this glorious new dawn. Well, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! Yay! Yay! We did it! We baked a cake for you. Huzzah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Woo! Credits. And yes, we're gonna make you watch all the credits, guys. Cause I hate you. Guys. I already skipped it. <laughs> yeah, he already skipped it. There might be something after the credits, for all I fucking know, so I'm sitting here. Yeah. Um, so hopefully everyone enjoyed the our run-through here of normal. It was definitely an interesting experience. I I think, obviously, it was really flipping easy for a party of people that know what they're doing. Yeah. Um, we'll see how Nightmare and uh, uh, Hell go. Should be interesting. Yeah, I guess every uh, see how the credits are running anyways. Everyone might as well give their kind of, like, final thoughts on what how they feel about the game in general. Yep, so, what do, you, what do you think over there, Bebop? Um, you know, it's pretty good. I think, uh... Yeah, I don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well said. How about Squidoku, what do you think? Oh, it was a pretty fun hack-and-slash type game. Reminded me of when I first played Diablo a lot, and good. a very thoroughly enjoyable experience. Cool, cool. 
Well, I definitely, obviously, I played Diablo 1 and 2 ridiculously extensively. Diablo 1 was the game that I started playing back at, when I first identified myself as a gamer. So I had a lot of high expectations for this game, and I heard a lot of people whining. But so far, I'm actually really excited about it. I, I, I think, obviously, yeah, normal is really easy for a party, but that's to be expected because it's normal. I think so far it has a lot of potential to be really cool in Nightmare Hell and, of course, in Infernal. So... I'm looking forward to that. I think this was um, a really decently built game so far. Um, the bosses obviously were not that challenging, and I don't think they're probably going to get too much more challenging, but from what we've seen, I guess it's the elites that get scary, which yeah. I'm okay with. That makes it, once again, more interesting to run through more than once. You don't kill the bosses over and over again. So um, I'm sad you don't get to change your stats, um, and I'm sad you can only run with four people, but... Overall, I think it was pretty good. I, I felt like there was a lot more customization than I was worried there was going to be. I thought it was going to be very cookie uh, cutter. But with the different runes and the different skills, I felt at least that I could make my character in several different directions, which is really cool. So, I don't know. Did you, you have like a prepared speech or something? You no. read off like a sheet of paper? <laughs> no. I don't know. <laughs> I, I just wanted to thank I'm, I'm a uh, talker. Lizard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And also, I'd like to give a shout-out to my homies. I don't know. <laughs> so, what do you think, Space Goon? Yeah, well, I, I enjoyed the game all right. There were a couple, obviously, a couple issues you brought, you brought up. Like, obviously, I don't know, I'm a humongous Diablo 1 buff. I played Diablo 2 somewhat, but I didn't like it as much as the original Diablo for, for a number of reasons. But, uh... I don't know, level design? Level design was, like, really good, cool to look at and stuff like that. Yeah. But I don't feel it offered as many tactical options. I mentioned that a lot during the playthrough that, like, the one tile set that actually offered tactical options was the keep, pretty much. Yeah. Where you could, like, caught, catch people in doorways and block people up and stuff like that. But for the most part, it's just, like, a lot of big open spaces where it's, like, you run at monsters. Oh, look, a mob. You know, that sort of thing. And then you deal with the mob. As opposed to trying to be, like, oh, shit, a mob. I'm going to run behind this grate and close the door, you know. If yeah. things get really rough. Yeah. You, know, you don't really have a lot of. Uh, world options in that respect. You I'm, just I'm curious how it's going to affect things in later difficulties when you have to run away from things and, and kite them around. I, I'm curious how that'll work because if you have the ability like a Diablo 1 where you could like, you know, yeah, close doors or um, hide around these bars and peck at them with shit, you know, yeah. that was ways you could get around those scary things. Now you're not going to have that ability. You're just stuck in a, jig, a big giant fucking area and you have to just run like a chicken with your head cut off screaming away. Yeah, you know? pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Skills. <laughs> <laughs> Skills. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what things look like on a higher difficulty level. Uh, like Dart was saying, the the because you couldn't pick your skills, obviously all the equipment was based on level. Or stats, maybe? Or, yeah, or, no, all, your, all the equipment that you can put on. Like in Diablo 1, it was like, I needed... 90 stir to wear plate mail. Yeah. Which means I could stack strength if I wanted to put on a higher piece of armor. I can't... I just have to get to level 26 before I can put on this piece of armor. Right. It doesn't matter h how I want to do it. It's... I'm still going to have to reach level 26 to put it on. Right. You know, I mean, obviously, even with stacking a stat, you have to get to a certain level, but it's more up to you right. how you get there. You know, obviously, you have to sacrifice other things if you want to do that, but, yeah, it, it offered a little bit of extra customization. I like the runes and what? the skills... Uh, Dustin Browder! <laughs> strike team lead, and right away we see <laughs> Dustin Browder! You and your structural rocks! <laughs> oh. I didn't realize the male wizard is Crispin frickin' Freeman. Who? He's like a uh, voiceover god in the anime world. Oh. Interesting. Cool. I say as my own voice cracks. <laughs> Wonderful. That's funny. So... Oh no, I like, like, like I was saying, I like, this, I like the runes and stuff like that and the various skills. Um, I think I like Barbarian more once I actually got some other buffs I could give to the rest of the party. Yeah. I mean, obviously, when you're playing solo, those buffs aren't quite as interesting, but because, obviously, I'm playing with three other people, the ability to actually be able, like, watch a buff and give it to some, give it to the party and feel like I'm contributing to the party more, definitely, that's kind of nice, you know? Yeah. And, and the fact that the runes give you the options to do that or be a little bit more solo-based... I like that. So. Exactly. So yeah, there's there's good and bad, I guess. Overall, overall, I thought it was an all right playthrough. So. So I think our plan, at least for right now, for those that are still watching after all these episodes, <laughs> is you rock to if you have. And yeah, hopefully people enjoyed enough to keep watching. 
Um, by the time you see this, obviously, we're, we're going to keep playing. So we probably would have hopefully by this point beaten Nightmare and Hell. And the idea then is to, I think, tape our playthrough for Infernal. Yeah, see and how that goes. So that's our plan. By the time this actually airs, we hopefully would have already been working on that. So that will be coming out after this. Um, once you're actually seeing this video. So if you enjoyed this, hopefully you enjoyed that. There'll probably be a lot more... Swe well, there's already a lot of swearing, but there'll probably be a lot more swearing and agony as we die all the time. Yeah. Was, it, it should be fun. You can watch this and watch us stomp things and make fun of how easy it is. And then, <laughs> and then you can watch the Infernal and laugh at us as we cry like little girls as we die over and over again. So yeah. it might be fun to like watch one episode of this and then one episode of that back and forth and just kind of laugh as we, you know... Yeah, as we go from bravado to just breaking down in tears probably every five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> We're going to have to have a new drinking game. Rather than random running ahead, it's going to be every time we die or something. It's going to be crazy. I don't know. We'll see. So don't play that game if you value your liver at all. Uh, yeah. Well, if they already played our drinking games, they're dead. <laughs> That's I mean, true. So so it, carry on, all you not dead people. Yeah, pretty much. Cause, oh, excuse me. I mean, Randy got better as time went on there, but I don't know. I think it's gonna, <laughs> he's going to keep getting better because he's going to keep getting punched in the head harder and harder, and eventually he's not going to be able to run ahead. <laughs> he's going to be like, all right, you go first, because that's what the wizard should be saying. <laughs> I don't want to go out there. It's scary. I still find it amusing that like the best weapons for the wizard are like two-handed freaking. Yeah, what the... I don't I don't quite understand that. I mean, maybe it maybe it'll get different on a higher difficulty level. Or it, I mean, it's all random gear, so I guess. Well, that I mean, I could have uh, like Dart had a an, a one-handed axe that was roughly on par with the same DPS as my two-hander, so I could have equipped that and, and uh, something else. source, which would have been better. Right. Yeah, I, I think right now it's just. Theoretically, you could get that one really cool two-hander that might actually be better than your one-hander and your offhand, but nine times out of ten so far we've been seeing the two-handers are just not worth it. I mean, generally speaking, you're going to eventually find a one-hander and an offhand that's definitely going to be better. Yeah, and, and the fact that, especially for, like, you and I, Dart, yeah. a shield oh my God. gives, like, more than twice as much as our next AC... Best. As are the armor we're wearing. Yeah, the, yeah, the chest piece. The yeah. chest piece is like ninety, and the shield's like two hundred and yeah. freaking sixty something. You know. Yeah, it, it, there's just no reason to not use a shield if you're gonna try to be in tank. I, yeah. And actually, yeah, I, I, I can't even imagine. I, I would like to eventually use a staff because I know there's a passive I get that allows me to generate spirit faster if I use a two-hander, but I just can't imagine. I don't know. Maybe eventually, but I don't know. I, I would like to. It'd be cool. Yeah. But I don't know. I didn't see. I didn't see very many unique barbarian weapons. I saw a lot of <laughs> monk weapons yeah, through this point. playthrough. So, yeah, there was an intern called Rex Luther. What? <laughs> that's fantastic. That's, um, that's I awesome. saw a ton of barbarian specific belts. We yeah, got yeah, we, I got yeah, I got a lot of belts. Yeah. So now I'm picturing the barbar with like that big ass like Texas belt <laughs> buckle. Like that's his signature thing. He has his belt buckle, evidently. I'm going to draw him like that now. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner plate belt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They grow them big in Texas, so that makes sense, because you're like <laughs> a fucking giant. Wow. My leg is as large as our monk. <laughs> Pretty much. What? I mean, maybe if I ate a sandwich every once in a while. <laughs> Jeez. Could, could be useful. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I don't know. Regional managers. <laughs> uh, Alright, then. <laughs> what do they do? I don't know. What do half of these people do? It's that's just, that's true, I that's, suppose. I mean, it's cool that they got credit. Yeah. I just, I'm, I'm, sure I'm not they, exactly sure what their job title yeah. entails. I'm sure they'll do a lot. But oh, yeah, yeah. yeah the, the title sometimes leaves you wondering, what is it you actually do? These are the people everyone's hacked off at the Network Operation Administration. Oh, you poor guys. Who are, I can't <laughs> No, take our names off the list. Yeah, no, no kidding, because... Those poor guys. Oh, and the network operators probably too. Yeah, yeah. I have no envy for them and their jobs they've had the last couple weeks here. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine how horrific it would have to be to work there. And I'm sure they all were somewhat prepared for it. Like, obviously, before you have any kind of switch over of any kind of new system or anything, of course, they're all, like, you know, getting ready for it. But I can't imagine being prepared for that, for the shitstorm that came their way. Yeah. I, oh my gosh. Hopefully... The Somebody prepped them for that. I mean, like, people were well aware that was going to happen, and they weren't just like, uh, crap. Well, well I'm sure fucked. they were prepared in, like, a normal level of, okay, 
shit's gonna come our way. But I don't. I, I have difficulty believing that even Blizzard realized how much shit was gonna come their way. Yeah. So, I have difficulty believing that they were prepared for that. They were probably prepared for okay, we're gonna get a lot of crap. Things are gonna go down. We're gonna have issues. But oh my gosh, I mean, people were just calling for their head on a stick. I mean, every five seconds, it was insane. Which, yeah. I don't know. I mean, people always, of course, you know, oh, it's the worst deployment ever, or not n- deployment, the worst release ever, and oh, they're awful company. And of course, now that things are working fine, everyone's like, so what do you guys think about the game? Yeah, like, everyone cools down after yeah. a little bit, you know. And now they're all like, oh, this is imbalanced, and now it's hard, and we're whiny because we suck at the game, or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> well, obviously, like, the spikes in Infernal really need to be smoothed out, because obviously there's nothing you can do about, Yeah. like, just... <laughs> Instant death. And instant death. Okay, well, uh, fantastic. I'll reload, I guess. I don't know. Which, hopefully, by the time this <laughs> airs, um, they hopefully will have fixed that. Yeah, well, so, I think they already did some of that smoothing, didn't they? I'm not sure. I, I knew they were talking about doing it. I'm not sure if they've actually implemented it or not. Obviously, we're not in Infernal, so I don't know. Pe- yeah. People are still whining about Infernal, I know, on the forums and all that, but it's hard to tell if that's just people that are bad or if it actually is too difficult. I, I don't know. Yeah, obviously, we haven't experienced it. We've experienced normal, which is really really like, easy like yeah it almost embarrassingly easy but right oh well and obviously we've talked to people that have done solo and they said it was a lot harder for them yeah. so well I, I know i've done a little bit of solo i think bebop did a little bit of solo um we obviously didn't get past whatever we were in our four person game we just did a little bit of stuff on our own just to kind of try out other classes or whatever and i know after we killed the butcher or not, not the butcher the skeleton skeleton king, king yeah. yeah after we killed him I just made a bar bar just to screw around, and the, the, he killed me, like, twice, um, because I, I had to do a good amount of kiting, I had to actually manage, the, like, the health orbs that dropped, and, um, use potions quite liberally, um, it was actually pretty difficult as a solo bar bar, so, I think, yeah. yes, solo definitely seems to be a decent challenge rating, I mean, um, from what we've heard from other people, but... Yeah, um, well, we're, I suppose while we're giving a little bit of talk about the classes, I mean, as, as far as me playing a barbarian... I feel that Barbarian might be one of the harder classes to play solo, but with a party, if you can just focus on tanking, I I, uh, I feel that uh, Barbarian is a party buff, not quite a full class at the moment. Right. Yeah. Which I'm sense. okay with because I play with four people or three other people, but you know, I, I kind of feel sorry for solo guys playing Barbarian. Yeah. I mean, obviously you have abilities that can help you get around at times, like the leap and all that, which if you're playing solo, you might want to use more often. Yeah. But obviously for like the wallers and those things that can stop you. You can, what, throw axes at them? Yeah, which takes fury, and you got to hit people to get it. So yeah. it's like, unless you're using that one passive, but frickin' Pound of Flesh, Tough as Nails, and, uh... Ah, crap. Nerves of Steel, or whatever the crap it is. Right. Those, I mean, those are so such good passives, it's hard to give up anything for those. Right. I mean, because they actually... if you gotta, you got to stand toe-to-toe with everything, and you need all the armor you can freaking get. So... Right. Yeah, I don't know. It, yeah, I definitely agree. The barber definitely seems like he's very dependent on other people. If he has someone behind him with a big stick... Yeah, or, oh my gosh, with two DPSers behind me, it's like, oh, all I gotta do is buff my freaking defense and kind of swing with cleave, yeah. you know? Kind of get, but yeah, between the bad guys and the DPSers, and yeah, you're good to go. Wall of names. Jeez. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. Wow, that's a dizzying to look at. Holy jeez. Yeah. Wow. Ah. We have to put like, a warning on this video of, uh, be careful looking at this because <laughs> you might go cross-eyed trying to read this. Holy cow. Name Vertigo. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Hello, hello. <laughs> hola. Wow. Hola, hola. Indeed. <laughs> so what are you guys' feelings about Wizard and Demon Hunter? Awesome. Um, Love Demon yeah. Hunter. Awesome. <clears throat> I like it so far a lot more than I like my other character, which is a witch doctor. Um, it's definitely kind of, like I was talking about earlier, I think it's kind of uh, deceiving when it lists my DPS from what I actually do. Because I don't know, I've, I mean, maybe I just didn't notice anybody else's, but I can do six, 700 points of damage per second when I'm using um, disruption be- or disintegration ray. I don't know if anybody else can do that much. I really that's wasn't what paying I'm attention doing to any... with my um, chakrams or Is it? Yeah. So yeah, I know that's kind of nice. And I don't. I know you guys have to like hit shit to charge up your abilities, and mine just recharges on its own. Right. So, worst comes to worst, if I run out of mana, I wait six, seven seconds, and I can blast again. 
Yeah. That's probably why, the, obviously, the wizard can't get really much higher than 100. So otherwise yeah. you'd just be like, fuck everything all the time, you know? <laughs> yeah, nothing Max ever... I can get, as far as I know, without items is 140. Right. Because you can get energy armor at a really high level. You can set it so that instead of draining 20 magic to use it all the time, it gives you 20 magic. Oh, right now, if I were to use it, it would take 20 magic away while it was active. Right. That'd be kind of annoying, but, considering that your max is 100. I mean, I think it's, well, it's, it's 120 like, it's one, right it's now with the, passive ability. with the passive, right? Yeah. But at a high level, I might use that when I can get another 20 magic out of it. Yeah, that's but that's cool. like upper 40s or 50s before I get that. It's the last ruin oh, right. for energy armor. Gotcha. I suppose that makes sense. Yeah. And, and at that point is obviously when you really need it, too, because you'll be obviously blasting a lot more and all that, so... Do you f yeah, those spells are kind of nice, too. Um, I know my primary abilities. I know I use Magic Missile for fucking ever. I use that oh, until yeah, I've never seen that, uh, that. that shocked spell that I've been using forever. Did you feel that uh, the uh, wizard had a good, uh, like, range of abilities? Like, you every, like, when you level, as you were leveling up, you'd felt like yeah, you were getting cool stuff until I hit about level 30 but that's because I'm in party mindset right now if I was playing by myself I'd probably be using less DPS boosters and more armor boosters right makes sense yeah yeah because right now I have two spell slots dedicated to just DPS boosting if I was playing by myself those would be armor spells or right. one of them this would be an armor spell the other one would probably be a, a close range scatter spell like, I got rid of my burst ones, so I can use either Wave of Force or Frost Nova that freezes or throws everything away from me that's right next to me. Oh, well, that's nice. They're thanking Blizzard North. That's yeah, cool. that, make, that makes me really happy, actually. Sorry to cut in there, Bebop. We're watching credits. <laughs> Continue. So, um, if I was playing by myself, that would still be in my repertoire yet. But right. as I'm not, it's not really necessary. So, Squidoku, how'd you feel about Demon Hunter overall? Uh, it's a perfect character for me. I love the fast DPS, lots of firepower, and she's always sexy as hell running around in her long boots, so <laughs> fun to play. And she gets a mini cape, so what's not to love? Yeah. Very true. Uh, what about the abilities? How do you feel about those? Well, this does seem to be a wide variety. Like, I never got to use like the death or the marked for death ability. Yeah, because everything died so fucking fast. <laughs> well, and also I have to run into the middle of the battle to do it. Uh, I, I got gotcha. you. I didn't feel like doing that when, I don't know, someone could hit me to take away half of my health in one hit. Yeah, and you got two tanks anyway, so why do that? Yeah, and I didn't also use the traps at all. But I made another demon character, Hunter, that I've been working with. And oh, the okay. traps are a lot more important in uh, single player. Right. Okay. But with you guys taking all the damage, it's just chakrams, and I've been using my first M1 ability I ever had the entire game, because it's awesome. So yeah, I'm in the same way with Monk actually. My my very first ability I got it of M1 has been the same. I just uh, got that rune that allows me to teleport to stuff. I don't think I'm gonna be changing that guy anytime soon because it's just so helpful. Um, and uh, obviously, hey, I, I, I don't know. I I like Monk a lot. It fits me really well. Um, I definitely have a lot of buffs I can give to the team, which is pretty cool. And that's why I like playing that kind of thing. I like playing the healer, obviously, as you guys know. So the fact that I have the mantra that heals and all those other skills, and I can give buffs like that bubble eventually or the COP, and I can slow monsters down and let them do less damage and all that, that's pretty cool. Obviously, I don't get to do any cool, you know, <laughs> kill everyone abilities or any of that kind of jazz, but yeah, it, it fits my personality well. I like just kind of supporting the team and letting us do more effectively, which is cool. Which is funny, because I'm curious how often people are actually going to play Monk that way. I saw people talking about that on the forums every once in a while, and they're saying, Monk shouldn't be support, ah, they're all angry about it. <laughs> uh, which makes me happy. I, I like being support, so whatever. Right. But, I don't know. I like how you can change it. You can make it support, or like Ben was saying before, you can also make it be offensive if you want to. That's really nice. You can change things that way. So, yeah. Well. Yeah. That well, was normal. I guess, yeah, we're through normal, and, uh... Pretty good as far as summing everything up. Uh, I guess we'll see how uh, things are received and whether we do the Infernal run-through if we record that. Um, any, anyone else got anything? No. Oh, we forgot to punch Diablo. I was I was thinking about possibly like just doing a run-through where we just go and punch him for a while. <laughs> see if we can just kill him without, with no weapons. 
That's funny. Because that'd be interesting. <laughs> we'll have to do that. Yeah. All right. Oh. Well, thank you, everyone, for watching. I'm Space Goon. I'm Dart. I'm Bebop Cola. I'm Squidoku. <laughs> and we're Team Pariahcast. Thanks for watching.